What's going on everybody in the building, man? It's your boy Tony D and we're reviewing today the upcoming Jordan 6 Yellow Ochre. Not the occurred, not the orchard, it's the ochre. I was saying occur, occur is the actual way. I'm just being a little bit more stronger with my pronunciation, but it's the yellow ochre. That's how you pronounce it. I used to call it ochre, orchard. Yeah, it's occur. I don't know whoever the hell created this color of the name. God bless you. That's all I gotta say. Today though, guys, we have this review coming up, releasing on January 27th for a retail price point of $200. And we've been seeing yellow ochre pop up a lot lately. There's actually a yellow ochre that dropped a couple years back in a Jordan 1, a black and yellow ochre. And I think she was like, it was actually like white, but it was very similar to the one that we just had a couple weeks back, the Jordan 1. Slightly different in some aspects, but the same basis. There's a yellow ochre Jordan 1 that released years back. Maybe y'all remember, maybe I didn't. Maybe I reviewed it, I can't even remember at the same time. But we did recently see the other Jordan 1 yellow ochre that dropped a couple weeks back that has plummeted for the most part. Hey, salutes and congratulations. You should be able to get your hands on those for maybe $150, $140. I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying that they did plummet at the end of the day, like, as far as sales go. I'm wondering how Jordan brand is gonna react to that. But with that being said, we have the Jordan 6 version. And for the most part, seeing how it's been on the market, it's been holding up fairly well. I mean, I've been seeing it for the most part coming in at around $220 to $250, depending on the size. Now, these have yet to release, and that's typical of a shoe that has not yet released. So with that being said, that price point in the secondary market could go down. But at the same time, it is quite alarming for it to be already at the price that it's at for a shoe that's gonna be dropping next week. It may hold up, it may not. Tony, why are you bringing up the secondary market? Why are you bringing up resale? Are you a reseller? No, what I'm basically always telling you guys at the end of the day is that if a shoe is going for a lot of money at resale, it more than likely is gonna sell out the day it releases because people are already trying to make money off of it now. If a shoe drops and goes down to 100 and 40 below retail in the secondary market, that means that you'll be able to get the shoe fairly easy. And you possibly could even get the shoe for below retail because the shoe won't sell out and then eventually go on sale. Hence the Jordan 1 Yellow Ochre, which is currently sitting on plenty of sites right now at the end of the day. I'd be expecting those to go on sale maybe within a month or so. This Jordan 6, however, seems that it may be a little bit different. And from what I'm hearing, the shape of this shoe is slightly different than the Jordan 6 Carmine. We actually did a comparison. You guys can see, I'll probably have some B-roll of that comparison. The toe box on this one is a little bit more bulky compared to the Carmine 6, which is a little bit more slimmer. But the Jordan 6 of this yellow ochre matches up more so the shape and the dimensions of the original Jordan 6 that released back in 91. Kind of closer to the OG shape from what I'm hearing. And the Carmine itself being one of the first sixes that actually released, this is pretty much a yellow ochre Carmine. It's a Carmine color swapped out. As I stated before, if he was watching, it's like Mortal Kombat, you know, Scorpion, Sub-Zero. They're the same ninja. They're just different color palettes. And the Carmine is like Ermac. This is Scorpion. And then of course the UNC that dropped a few years back, that's just like the Sub-Zero version, you feel me? And the, that shoe even itself is still going for around retail to this day. But I do say that I do like the material overall, a very good new buck upper. The leather is a little bit slight tumbled as well compared to the Carmine. The Carmine was a more, let's say plain Jane leather. Good leather, but not as tumbled. There's a little bit of tumbleness going on on this shoe overall. The cuts, the craftsmanship, all that very, very well at the end of the day. Even the back, you see that it has a little bit of shape to it. That Coke bottle shape, I like to see that on sixes. I don't like my sixes that are flat on both sides. That's not a good look. This one has that shape overall. I like how the laces look. I like how the tongue looks. This is how it looks right now before me even doing an on foot. This is how it came from factory. I'll make sure to uh, make an edit if I'm wrong. So I'm saying this now, right? And if you're seeing me say this, that means what I'm saying is true. When it comes to sixes, they typically go true to size, sometimes slightly bigger. They got a little bit of a bigger fit but overall, you can go true to size. I typically, you know, go true to size. I can fit an eight, I can fit an eight and a half, I can fit a nine, I can fit all of those. But um, it's a more true to size sizing at the end of the day when it comes to sixes, I'd say that. You can go a little bit true to size and you'll have some room. So if you see this, that remains the same. But what I'm saying also while I'm saying that with it coming out factory, there's been plenty of sixes that come where the tongue is just jacked up, especially the material right here coming jacked up. I mean, this thing looks fabulous out the box. The lacing, all that, the way it's sitting, the tongue's height is another thing that's very important to me because there's sometimes where the six height is not tall. This one is protruding. I like when it protrudes. I like when you see that. I have the Fugazis out there. They won't even protrude. They'll be sitting too low. So overall, a really good solid shape on this Jordan Ochre. On the actual outsole, you have that blue tint going on, white with the blue tint and the yellow right there. And uh, you know, we already know blue tint's been coming in left and right for a couple years now. It helps uh, 
for the most part, take away from that yellowing process. But I will say, in my opinion, that the blue tint itself has kind of not been as strong as it used to be. Let me just check a Carmine. Better yet, the Carmine was a little bit too old, so it had some yellowing on it. But we have a Midnight Navy. And you guys tell me what y'all think. Are these the same or not? Looking at them, and maybe it has something to do with the fact that this is a Midnight Navy soul, and maybe the colors are playing with my eyes. But there does seem to be a slight difference in tint on this Midnight Navy than this. But at the same time, you can't expect shoes to remain completely the same throughout the years when different materials have been utilized. It's always going to be, you know, some changes here and there at the end of the day. But be on the look out January 27th for this bad boy right here and uh yeah it'll be coming very very soon to a city near you but yeah guys let me know you guys thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section as always I love y'all I appreciate y'all and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one I'm out peace